Hey, boys and girls, thanks for being part of Sunday School this week. I'm just absolutely delighted and thankful to see you. I want you to know how loved you are. We are, this uh, month of March, we are going over the stories in the Bible about the time that Jesus has before he is crucified, the time before Easter. And our Bible story this week is about Jesus praying in the garden. It is the 22nd chapter of Luke, verses 39 through 46. Jesus came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. When he reached the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then Jesus withdrew from them about a stone's throw, knelt down, and prayed. Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. In his anguish, Jesus prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down on the ground. When he got up from prayer, he went to the disciples and found them sleeping because of grief. And he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not come into this time of trial. Let's hear what Abigail says about the time that Jesus took to pray. Hi friends, I'm Abigail. In our story today, Jesus goes to a garden to pray. Jesus was having a really hard time. Even though we know that Jesus was awesome and did amazing things, he had some really hard days too. When he went to the garden, he had a lot on his mind and a lot going on around him. Jesus needed a place where he could focus and spend time with God without a lot of noise or lots of people around. Jesus talks to God and tells God how scared and upset he is. He doesn't hold back anything because he knows God cares about all of it. Even though you can pray anywhere, it's nice to have a place that is special to you and a place where you know you can focus on God. Jesus teaches us that being in a relationship with God means that we tell God hard things too. God can handle our sadness, pain, frustration, and anger. God cares about us so much that God wants to know what is going on in our lives and how we are feeling about everything. When we remember how Jesus prayed, we can follow His example and talk to God about whatever we want. When my grandfather died, my whole family was really sad. One night, I woke up and heard my mom talking and crying. I went downstairs to see her and saw that she was praying. I heard her say, God, I am really sad. This is so hard. She showed me that we don't only pray to say thank you, but we also talk to God when things are hard. When I got back to my room, I decided to pray too. I was sad and remembered I could talk to God about my feelings. Friends, you can talk to God about anything. There is nothing too big or too small. There is nothing that is too hard for God to hear. Maybe you lost a grandparent like me, or you're having a hard time in school, or you're just having a bad day. God is there to talk about it. We all have hard times and get upset. Whatever is going on, Jesus shows us what to do. Go, talk to God about how you are feeling. Now, it's time for you to wonder. And our wonder question this week, boys and girls, how does praying help us remember Jesus? How does praying help us remember Jesus? And enjoy the song that follows this. Thank you. Have a wonderful week. Your voice is everywhere in pictures.
pictures and songs that hang in the air to show us the way to love and we sing along and you're teaching us by you wash our feet the grave Remember your love. Oh, we remember your love.